Manufacturing is the transformation or conversion of materials into parts and parts into finished products. These transformations involve materials, machines, and people. Wooden furniture provides a good example. A tree valued at $900 may be worth $1,100 as a cut log. A sawmill may then produce $5,000 in boards from the lawn. A furniture manufacturer. In manufacturing operations, materials are transformed into finished products. Machinery is used to make the transformations. and people operate and maintain the machines. Of course, materials, machinery operations, and wages are cost to the company, variable costs. These costs can fluctuate depending on the amount of product being produced. Fixed costs must be paid even if the company stops production. A company has less control over costs such as lease and loan payments for machines and buildings, utilities, and some taxes. A company's profit equals the revenue or income from sales. Machines can be simple and hand-operated, or highly complex and automated. Shaping machines perform cutting, machining, casting, forming, and powder compaction. Many manufacturing processes apply heat to materials for melting, curing, heat treating, or drying. Machines can apply coatings with a simple brush, or sprayers, dipping, and electroplating. Joining is accomplished by processes such as welding, brazing, or soldering, riveting and bolting, gluing, snap fit, or stitching. Machines that don't function properly affect the quality of the product or the productivity of your operation. Both problems affect profits. In order to head off machine malfunctions before they happen, manufacturers perform preventive maintenance. Machines are temporarily taken out of service, worn parts replaced, and joints lubricated. Machine downtime for scheduled preventive maintenance is far better than an unscheduled breakdown during a production run. Automation increases the speed, uniformity, and flexibility of a mechanized process. Computer controls take automation a step further. Numerical control, NC, or computer numerical control, CNC machines, use a computer to program the automated machine functions. This CNC router, for instance, can cut identical complex shapes hour after hour. As manufacturing costs decrease, Products can be sold both more affordably and more profitably. Automation and mechanization increase productivity in almost every aspect of manufacturing, such as unit processes. Material handling. Assembly. Finishing. And packaging. Automated systems require different skills from the operator. Automated equipment requires people knowledgeable in computers, sensors, and controls to set up, operate, maintain, and repair the equipment. No machine has yet been devised that can duplicate all human actions. In even the most sophisticated manufacturing operation, people are needed to operate machines, transfer materials and parts, inspect materials, parts, and products, package products, repair the machines, and devise innovations to improve processes. It's all about quality. 
from the incoming materials that must pass inspections and test before use to well-maintained machinery that performs properly. And of course, quality in people who work in teams, solve problems, and pay attention to instructions and procedures. Standards specify technical applications and limitations for materials, designs, and practices. For example, adherence to manufacturing standards ensures that a one-quarter 20-thread bolt will fit perfectly into a one-quarter 20-tapped hole, or that tires of the specified size fit your car properly. You've all seen the UL seal common on electronic. Safety standards are important both for our finished products and for the manufacturing procedures that create them. In many cases, safe operating procedures are mandated by law. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, not only establishes safety standards, but has enforcement powers as well. You'll see a lot of safety warnings in most manufacturing plants, and there is a good reason for it. Another set of standards important to manufacturers are the ISO 9000 standards for quality assurance. The International Organization of Standards established these guidelines to ensure quality in design, production, and inspection. ISO certification. Today, in some industries, component manufacturers have to be ISO certified in order to sell their products. As you work in your manufacturing job, Remember these fundamentals and the importance of quality, productivity, and profitability. Our jobs depend on it.